Hello, Dr. Fisher here, checking in with you to talk about how to do a daily check-in. One of the philosophies in the office is awareness brings change, and awareness also allows for additional change. And so one of the most important things that we do is help people learn how to check in. That can be a simple meditation, prayer, that can be whatever your religious or spiritual practices. But one of the most important pieces is checking in with how you actually feel. When we do so, oftentimes we will have people literally lay down on the ground and ask out loud, how am I doing? How am I feeling? And there are two main things that we tend to see happen. One is going to be the wall on the left. We'll often hit a wall. And so when we work with patients, we have them move forward, move backward, put their hands out, see if there's any textures or colors or sounds or temperatures that they can feel that they can get a little bit of an inkling of what that wall looks like and then move way, 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 way back and then move way forward, whichever works best for them, and tell that wall, thank you for, for making me safe and thank you for protecting me but I don't need you anymore or the second option is just to literally continue to ask how am I feeling how am I feeling how am I feeling until you hear the inner dialogue or your subconscious mind speak up it's usually quiet at first the other option is usually what I typically do or have done in the past and I tell little, little white lies to myself. What does that mean? That means that you paint the picture of reality a little bit better than it probably is. And so that's also an awareness piece where having someone outside of you to guide you and support you to help you see the reality of the situation is probably a better option. So again, just as a reminder, the question is, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? How am I feeling? What am I feeling? However you need to word those sentences. But it's really important as you do this work to be able to honor how you feel from a non-judgmental place. And so emotions are not negative experiences or positive experiences. They just are part of a human experience. And so if a friend of yours has an emotion and they're sad or they're mad or angry, how might you, as a person, as a human being, console or support that person? You would probably say, you know, I understand that's really hard, you know, supporting that individual, but you don't necessarily judge them for how they're feeling because that's a human experience. And so it's really important as you work in your health journey that you work towards not judging yourself as well. Because in order for you to continue to have a safe place, even in your own mind, to be able to listen to your own mind, it's important that you work towards honoring your humanity and not dehumanizing yourself and just honoring the fact that your emotion is your emotion is your emotion. Now, it's a whole different ballgame if you decide to act upon your emotion. That gets into another story for another day. But today is all about feeling. How am I feeling? Ask yourself that several times if you need, out loud if you need to see how you're actually feeling and continue asking that question until you've had that answered completely and totally. Check back in with us, subscribe, and look for additional answers coming in the future for your questions. Thank you and have a great day.